what we've read of this deal, it doesn't meet uh, our demands or our expectations. It uh, creates a border down the Irish Sea between uh, Britain and Northern Ireland, and it leads once again to a race to the bottom in rights and protections for British citizens and the danger. I beg your pardon. Sorry, it, uh, a danger of the sell-off of our national assets to American companies. Could you vote for it if a confirmatory referendum was attached to it? Uh, we are. A, unhappy with this deal and as it stands we'll vote against it though obviously we need to see all of the last details of it. But wouldn't this be a nice chance to get it all passed like get on? The most important thing is to have a good relationship with Europe in the future which means a good trade relationship and it's also very important from the Labour Party's point of view to absolutely protect the rights and protections that we've obtained through membership of the European Union and to ensure that we have an effective trade relationship with Europe because half of our trade is with Europe and particularly in the north of England large numbers of manufacturing plants rely on trade with Europe and so as this deal stands, we cannot support it. But that's it. something for the future relations agreement, not for the withdrawal agreement. The important thing is to make this decision now before we take any steps forward and as it stands we will not support this agreement that the Prime Minister has apparently reached today. It also appears to be a very high wire act because he doesn't have the support apparently of his own allies in Parliament. Have but you given up on your hopes of renegotiating a Brexit deal? Not at all. Uh, a Labour government elected in a general election would, uh, within three months, negotiate an agreement with the European Union around the five pillars that I've often set out, which are of a customs union, trade relationship, protection of rights, and, of course, protection of the... Good. So will you bring... Oh, oh, wait, 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 sorry, you're too excited. <laughs> it's a very exciting time. Uh, protection of the, uh, of the Good Friday agreement, and then within six months we would put that to a referendum uh, under a Labour government. So will you bring a motion of no confidence under the Fixed Term Parliaments Act this weekend? Uh, this weekend is the weekend to uh, discuss the Prime Minister's agreement that he's apparently reached that will come out of today's summit and Parliament will vote on that on Saturday afternoon. I think other issues are for next week.